Hi, my name's Matt Becker and I'm Vehicle Engineering Director at Aston Martin. I'm going to take you through some of the key technical aspects of the DBX. So DBX headline performance statistics. Power, 550 PS or 542 horsepower. Torque, 700 newton meters. Top speed of 181 miles per hour or 291 kilometers per hour. Zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds. Zero to 62 or zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds. So the engine is a 4-litre twin-turbo V8 with its own unique calibration to suit our application. The Aston Martin DBX is a completely new platform and structure. The mass of the car curb mass is 2245 kilograms. The weight distribution is 54% front, 46% rear. The wheelbase of the car is just over 3 metres long, so it's the longest wheelbase in the class, but actually the overall length of the car is circa 100 millimetres shorter than our closest competitors. So in the centre of the car we have an active differential. The differential has the ability to put an amount of torque to the front but up to 100% torque to the rear depending on the mode you've selected but also the slip level the car has. From the active centre diff, the prop shaft comes rearward and it goes to the rear axle. The rear axle has an electronic differential that allows us to vary the torque to have the car feeling very agile or make the car feel longer or to benefit in traction performance. So the steering system on the car is bespoke to this vehicle. It's a 14 to 1 steering ratio. And what that means effectively is visually the car shrinks in terms of size. What the steering ratio does, combined with the other systems on the car, makes a car that feels much smaller than it physically is. So in terms of the brake system on the car, cast iron, 410 millimetres on the front axle, 390 millimetres on the rear. Six piston caliper on the front and an integrated park system caliper on the rear. So in terms of deceleration performance, this car can achieve up to 1.4 G, which is on par with the DBS Superleggera. So on DBX, we have three different tyre types available to us. They're all Pirelli, and they're all the same size. 285 front, 325 rear. We have a winter tyre option for those that want to take the car off skiing. We have a summer tyre as well, which is for extreme performance, but actually we have an all season tyre that bridges the gap between winter and summer performance. So DBX has five predefined drive modes. Different to our GT and sports cars is the drive selectable modes are on the centre console. Mode up, if you think you're raising the right height of the car, so plus 20 millimetres for terrain, plus 45 millimetres overall for terrain plus. If you want to go down, you go back to GT, press the downward arrow and you'll go to sport, sport initially lowers the car 15 millimetres, Sport Plus lowers the car another 15 millimetres. When you select these different modes, obviously there's many other character changes within the car that are associated with this mode selection. On top of that, we have an individual configuration. Personally, for me, I like to have the suspension in GT mode, the steering in GT mode, I like the drive to be in Sport mode, so I get a little bit more urgency from the shifts and a little bit more aggressive throttle uh, calibration. The exhaust system I like to have in Sport Plus because I like that more order content from the engine. I like the few more pops and bangs. So that, that's effectively what the Matt Becker configuration would be. So regarding the exhaust system, the exhaust system is specifically designed, developed and tuned to suit the character of the car. In GT mode, you'll get a nice, warm, comforting, cosseting sound, which is relaxed at cruising speeds. If you want to turn the sound character up, you can switch to Sport and Sport Plus mode. The sound itself has got a nice mid to high frequency sound character. There are also two options within the exhaust system within the car. There's a standard exhaust and a sports exhaust depending on what territory you're in. 